What's up everyone, Ninja here, and today this is my preview video on the Elimination Chamber, and I'm playing Spider-Man 2009 because, uh, because of the Big Daddy V passing away, uh, I, and I just decided to play Big Daddy V in this Elimination Chamber match here, and this is actually a post-commentary. Uh, because I can't do live commentary because my my new computer that is new decided just not to work on me. So that really sucks. So here we go. We're just gonna go with my predictions here. Uh, we start off with the results of the matches, and here we go. Uh, first up, first match, and the elimination chamber kickoff with the Brotherhood. Versus Rybaxel. Well, in my opinion, I think Rybaxel deserves the win here. Uh, I don't. Uh, the reason why is because they've been jobbing recently, and I think it's time for them to stop jobbing. Uh, just to get them that uh, that edge to becoming a good team. Uh, next up, it is the former prime time players there and Young Titan. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I thought th this looked extremely similar to what happened to Crime Time. But <laughs> and <clears throat> one of, and one of the things here is and one of the things here is I believe whoever wins this may possibly get the mid card push, and the other one's probably day is the jobber. Uh, everyone's saying Tyus O'Neal. <clears throat> but I think Darren Young could win this one, uh, just because they had him beat Damien Sandow, and, and that didn't. Work, and I don't like to win. They have jobbers beat Mick Carters or Mina Banners for no reason. Uh, just like when Alex Riley beat Dolph Ziggler, he got nothing out of it. So I think Darren Young could get something out of this. And I think Darren Young could get something out of this. And I think maybe the Intercontinental title, maybe, maybe once Big E loses it, but it's the heel. Uh, so I'm going for Darren Young in this one, but I just hope this feud doesn't end up like the Heart Foundation or Crime Time, where they have like two matches and one of them is gone and the other one stayed in the company forever and we barely see them. Next up, New Age Outlaws versus the Usos. Well, <laughs> it's pretty predictable that, well, from what WWE's making it, it's pretty predictable, but WWE wants to make things unpredictable. And if they made the Usos win, they'd be too predictable, everyone would know. Uh, but to be honest, I think the New Age Outlaws should win this one uh, because it would make, because once again, they could surprise me once again, like at the Royal Rumble, I didn't think they would win, but they did. So, they can surprise me once again and retain these titles. They probably lose them at WrestleMania, since it makes sense. Uh, I don't know why this... I don't know why it keeps going on Jack Burke with the Wikipedia page here for me, but... Okay. Uh, next up, it is Biggie versus Jack Burke. Not Biggie Langston, Biggie for the Intercontinental Championship. Well... Biggie and Swagger. Uh, I think it's because Biggie had nothing to do and Swagger had also nothing to do, so that's why they had Swagger win the, the more contenders match here. And uh, be perfectly honest, uh, since Alexander Rusev is coming in, I think he is probably going to be the big challenge for Biggie. So I have a feeling that they're going to have Biggie win, so you can have you can have the South, you can have the African. Powerlifter and the Bulgarian Powerlifter, which would be amazing for the international title. Uh, next up, Batista versus Alberto Del Rio. Well, here's the thing: this is Del Rio's. This is the last time we'll ever see Del Rio at a Mixed Chamber since he is set to retire this year. Uh, that there's rumors from around that he's going to retire this year. Uh, I'm not sure what they do afterwards. Uh, I would be surprised if he went to TNA. Because that's what all the wrestlers do when they retire. They all go to TNA. But I don't think TNA is doing that anymore. Since TNA is actually doing 
booth here. I'm not going to talk about TNA because it's the WWE Elimination Chamber. So here we go, we got Biggie and Batista. Uh, I have a feeling that it's going to make Batista win because they normally do that. They make the Rumble winner win. Well, except from last year when they make the Shield beat John Cena. But they normally do make the Rumble winner win. Uh, next up. Next up, it is the Wyatt family versus the Shield. Well, this uh, people say this match happened too soon. I say that I thought that I I actually thought this match was never gonna happen, but it finally did. So here we go. We got the Wyatt family and the Shield. Well, I have a feeling that that they're gonna use this match to break the Shield up. So maybe something like so maybe something like. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose just argue, just arguing over, just arguing while well, Seth Rollins is trying to stop him from arguing and Bray Wyatt goes for the pin and then that and then that's what happens and I think and they all end the shield going forward. So I'm gonna go for the shield, but the Wyatt, but I'm I mean the Wyatt family. Good. So, but the Wyatt family will not get a clean win. Maybe something like Roman Reigns spearing Dean Ambrose, maybe something like that. Uh, next up, and here we go the main event. Uh, it is Randy Orton, John Cena, Sheamus, and Brian Cesaro on Twitch. Here's the thing, this made Orton look weak, so... Uh, from what it looks like, they're trying to make so strong so people will think he's gonna win. People have made... And... People have made... And this made Randy Orton look weak, so... So it, people would think it would be a surprise. But, to be honest, I have a feeling, uh, there's only two people I think could win this. That are Daniel Bryan and John Cena. Well, rumor has it... That Brock Lesnar will attack Daniel Bryan before the match, just like Edge did with Kofi Kingston this year. Well, in 2009. In case you don't remember that, uh, in 2009, Kofi Kingston was making his way to the Elimination Chamber. Edge attacked him from behind, took his spot, and won the WWE Championship. Actually, it was the World Heavyweight title that year. Uh, but this year, it could be Brock Lesnar attacking Daniel Bryan, taking his spot and just destroying everyone in the chamber and thus setting Batista, Brock Lesnar, and Daniel Bryan. Or they could go for something like John Cena wins and then all of a sudden it's John Cena. But John Cena could have a match with Bray Wyatt. It's pretty obvious that's what's going to happen. So, or they could go for Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Either Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, and Batista or Daniel Bryan and Batista. One of those two. Do. So those are my predictions for the Elimination Chamber. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later. Bye.